and elimination of the first lady stakes for two-year-old pacing fillies. Again, the top five come back for Saturday's final. Win, place, show, exact a trifecta wagering on today's sixth race. Here are the starters. Number one, Southside Hussey, owned by Dick Hess of Concord and Jeff Driscoll of Carrollton, trained by Jeff Driscoll, Brent Holland in the bike. Number two, Fancy Muffler, owned by Steve Newcomb and Terry Duffy of Chicago and Lamont, trained by Tex Motes, the driver, Tony Morgan. Number three is Macy Wave, owned by Jim Scherer and Oren Miles of Alney, trained by Irvin Miller. The driver is Andy Miller. Number four, Can Commute, is owned by James Jask of Lamont, trained by Nelson Willis, the driver, Dale Heitman. Number five, She's All Sporty, owned by Bart Seals of Altamont and Sean Nessa of DuCoin, trained by John Nessa, the driver, Dave McGee. Number six, Broadway Bet, owned by Lloyd Dalton and Stanley Tarvitas, the latter of Burbank, Illinois, trained by Lloyd Dalton, the driver is Ken Holliday. And completing the field, number seven, Sports Talk, owned by Tim Penske's Penske Stables of Plato, Minnesota, trained by Brian Penske. Brian is the driver. This trifecta race is less than three minutes from post. Here they come. They're off and pacing. Can Commute is first away. Southside Hussey is a step quicker now toward the inside. Southside Hussey with authority moves up the rail, gets the lead by a length and a half, headed onto the first turn. Fancy Muffler goes second. Can Commute drops back, settles into third. Macy Wave is fourth. She's All Sporty is fifth. Broadway Bet is sixth. And Sports Talk is seventh and last. They go single file past the quarter, but not for long because here comes Fancy Muffler from the number two position up to get the lead at the quarter by a half length. Southside Hussey goes second. Opening quarter went in 29 and 4 fifth seconds. Fancy Muffler leads it by a length and a half, and now Can Commute takes to the outside from third, and there goes Can Commute. The lead will change hands again before the half-mile mark. Can Commute takes over by a length. Fancy Muffler second a length. Southside Hussey third by two. Then Macy Wave, who's racing in fourth, one length in front of She's All Sporty. Then Broadway Bet and Sports Talk, who starts moving from last, six lengths off the lead, and now She's All Sporty is off the rail from fifth. They got the half in 59 and three-fifths seconds, so Can Commute gets by with a soft half, despite the fact she had to make that move for the lead off the turn, and now here's She's All Sporty getting up to take the lead by a half length. She's All Sporty takes over, the filly owned here in DuCoin. She leads it by a length and a half, midway on the final turn. Can Commute goes second, Sports Talk is third on the outside, followed by Broadway Bet, as Fancy Muffler gets the shuffle into fifth, four lengths off the lead, Macy Wave and Southside Hussey are side by side at the back. Three quarters and 128 and four. She's All Sporty, leads it by a length. Sports Talk is second on the outside, and then Can Commute, Broadway Bet, and Macy Wave in the center of the track. She's All Sporty, leads it by one length. The Sports Talk, Broadway Bet on the outside, Macy Wave is a wide fourth. She's All Sporty, leads it by two, coming to the line. She's All Sporty by three, then Macy Wave, Broadway Bet, and Sports Talk. She's All Sporty, takes it by just over two lengths. Macy Wave on the grandstand side was second, close for third, either Sports Talk or Broadway Bet, the mile 156 and one. Now to complete the trifecta in the photo for show, number six, Broadway Bet was third, the seven Sports Talk was fourth, so it's unofficially a 5-3-6 trifecta. Now it's official. She's all sporty. Again, she's a sports master out of a Broadway Express dam, so we'll grab a word with the winning connections next. Let's talk to Sean Nessa. He's our winning co-owner. We mentioned the fact he trains this filly along with his father, John. Sean, this filly was the talk of Chicago early this year, but then she had some problems. What happened? 
Well, she uh, had a lung infection, and she'd been sick for oh, a whole month and a half. And when you're trying to get one over to sickness and the heat and racing, it's so it's been kind of a struggle for her. She ain't been herself probably the last three, four starts, so uh, she's back. Saturday, $50,000 purse, $25,000 to win that first lady final. Would that be all right with you? Yeah, it'd be fine with me. I tell you what. He's a Dale Earnhardt Jr. fan. He'll be racing as competitively as Dale Earnhardt with that filly on Saturday. Go, Junior. Go, Sean. Congratulations. Thanks. That's Sean Nessa. He's our winning co-owner. The rundown is next.